right now on Action 2 News at 4, we're in severe winter weather alert. We have team coverage across the area from Kiwanee County to the Fox Valley. What you can expect for your afternoon commute. And Aaron Rodgers is officially cleared to play what this means for Sunday's Packers game against the Panthers. From WBAY TV, coverage you can count on. Action 2 News at 4 starts now. Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us. Quite the whiteout across northeast Wisconsin. We are experiencing some severe winter weather and that snow keeps falling. Dozens and dozens of schools and church activities have all been canceled tonight. You can check WBAY.com for those details. Snow has been falling most of the day. Our Skyview 2 drone captured video this morning in the Fox Valley. There were a few inches on the ground already at that time, but much more has accumulated as the day progressed. We start our team coverage this afternoon with David Ernst live in Storm Center 2. David. Well, these snow showers will be winding down over the course of this evening, but uh, snow trackers still showing uh, quite a bit of snow left in northeastern Wisconsin. Uh, we're looking at temperatures generally holding in the mid to upper 20s and some of the steadier snowfall right now coming down through Green Bay, Appleton and towards Oshkosh. So it's it's right towards some of our heavily traveled roads. We want to take a look at what your afternoon commute is going to be like treacherous. You really have the chance for that and we have a few trouble spots around the Green Bay area. Take a look. I just got off the phone with Brown County officials and they tell me they've actually shut down the ramp from East Mason to 43 northbound because they're dealing with so many crashes in that area. He also told me 29 west of the city of Green Bay is a trouble spot and then 41 here between Green Bay and the Wrightstown area. You can see that big orange stretch southbound slow traffic there. The dispatcher I talked to with Brown County, he just said bottom line, please, please slow down. And this is why look at this camera here, the 41 and 43 interchange. You can see cars making a track through that snow. Highways are snow covered. Kiwani County is one of the areas seeing the most snowfall. That's where Andrea Hay joins us now live. Andrea, how does it look there? Hey, Catherine. Yeah, two words if you're out here in Kiwani County tonight blowing and drifting. I mean, it is just white knuckle driving conditions out here tonight. The highway commissioner in Kiwani County tells us there are about 13 plows on the road tonight. Well, driving southeast from Green Bay here to Algoma today, the snow was very heavy. There was some sleet. Roads continue to be slick. We did see one car in the ditch. Couple of plows out there and plow operators, no doubt, very busy all day today. Highway 29, pretty blustery. Doesn't seem like any plows could possibly keep up, but they're sure trying. Side roads are even worse, of course, than the highways. When we were deciding what we should do this morning for snow coverage, we went right to Chief Meteorologist Steve Bailani. Basically said, yep, it's these lakeshore communities really feeling the effects today. Visibility very poor out there. So the highway commissioner tells us if you can just stay home. Well, that's the best advice right now. If you don't have to leave the house, definitely uh, <clears throat> stay at home until the uh, plows come through and clear the roads. If you have to be out, make sure you slow down and take your time and leave early. Uh, that's uh, a piece of advice for every snowstorm. And I don't know if you can see it behind me, but we are right in front of Lake Michigan and in Algoma. And the highway commissioner tells us those waves out there are about eight feet tall, pretty high out there. We will continue to cover the lakeshore effect as we continue our news coverage tonight. Reporting live in Algoma, Andrea Hay, Action 2 News. Okay, hey, thanks, Andrea. We're taking a live look now in the Fox Valley. Out of Gamey County officials say they've had 33 calls about crashes today. Winnebago has had eight crashes. Fond du Lac has reported two calls all day. Reporter Emily Matasek is in the Fox Valley right now monitoring the current situation there. We'll hear from her later in our half hour. And you can stay up to date on weather alerts through our two apps, Action 2 News on the go and the Storm Center 2 weather app. On each, you can find weather advisories, closings, and delays, and we have information on how to download those apps on our website at WBAY.com. Well, Christmas has come early for Packers fans as Aaron Rodgers announces he is cleared to play. As we reported on Action 2 News at 10 last night, the quarterback posted on Instagram telling fans he's medically cleared to return to the field. That's good news. Maybe a lot more than good news, Chris, as the <laughs> Packers take on the Carolina Panthers this Sunday. Well, 
Obviously, there is no doubt that the Packers would rather have Aaron Rodgers than Brett Hundley on Sunday. Hello, Captain Obvious. But that does not make Sunday an obvious win for the Packers. Must win, yes, but not a gimme by any stretch. Rodgers is back on the practice field this afternoon, just like he has been the last two weeks. The difference today is that he was taking the starter reps. Rodgers was cleared last night to return from his broken collarbone, even though that bone is not completely healed, according to reports. Sunday, he'll face the league's fifth-ranked defense in Carolina, a unit that has the third most sacks in the league. Now, Rodgers' mobility, we all know one of his greatest assets, but remember, he was moving out of the pocket when he was hurt in Minnesota. However, he can't and should not change the way he plays. I think you have to play your game. You know, um, and, and, and that's really as far as I want to get into the specifics of that. I, you, you have to play your game. You know, you, you look at their, the way they're built. I mean, this front sevens is as good as any we played. I mean, you know, your second, I mean, this is an extremely good defense. They're, they're playing at a very high level. So, and that's really what we need to focus on. And, um, but at the end of the day, he needs to play his game. Now, it is Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> One of the best quarterbacks ever, but what about rust? Is there a concern? Uh, there? Well, it's been a long layoff for sure, and he's been rehabbing, and Mike McCarthy says he's knocked that out of the park. He's in great shape. The only thing they were waiting on was the bone, but they did add some individual periods today. It's been a while since he's thrown to these receivers, so they added some of that today to kind of work on the timing, things like that that you would expect. I think what everybody wants to know is, will this be the Lazarus return for Jordy <laughs> Nelson? Because he has been disappeared or disappearing since Brett Hundley took over as a starter. Just 22 catches, 153 yards, zero touchdowns with Brett Hundley as a starter. Remember, he had six touchdowns in five games with Aaron Rodgers. He's averaging less than seven yards per catch. Those are very un like numbers with Brett Hundley. He might have more yards on Sunday with Aaron Rodgers back than he had all seven starts with Brett Hundley. We'll see. That game just got a whole lot more interesting. Yes, sure did. <laughs> Thank you, Chris. Thanks, Chris. Well, new at four, Appleton police are investigating a bullying complaint that left a student with a head injury. Officials received the complaint yesterday from an Appleton public school saying an elementary student was hurt during recess. The school's resource officer says they are thoroughly investigating the incident. Even though it's snowy outside, that hasn't stopped dozens of people from stopping by the WBAY studios, bringing all sorts of gifts. If you look behind me here, hundreds of gifts here. If you were watching Action Show News this morning or Action Show News at noon, we have way more this afternoon than we did back then. Now, even though it's been snowy, don't worry about that. We have Marines on hand to pick up your gifts that you bring to us. I'm joined by one now, Staff Sergeant Paul Shenning. Tell us a little bit about the gifts we've been receiving today. I know we were in need of some teen gifts. Yeah, teen gifts are usually a, a shortfall for us throughout the years. Uh, but I mean, this year we've been doing pretty good. We have a wide range, wide selection of toys and hasn't the snow hasn't been deterred very many people from coming out and dropping off toys. So it's been a real productive day so far. So let's see if we can keep it going. Fantastic. So you heard him. Make sure to bring your toys here to the WBAY studios. Unwrapped, you don't even have to get out of your car. The Marines will be there to pick up your toys for you. We'll be here until 8 o'clock this evening. Reporting live, Sierra Gillespie, Action 2 News. Taking a look at Algoma again, as you can see the snow blanketing that area. Our crew told us earlier there are 13 snow plows out on the road trying to help you get home safe on your evening commute. Visibility, as you can see, is pretty low there right now, so be sure to drive slow if you have to be out on the roads tonight. And now we want to get a look at the areas in the Fox Valley. Emily Matesic joins us live. Emily, how are conditions down there? Yeah, Jeff, we are uh, on College Avenue in downtown Appleton. I can tell you within the last hour or so, the snow started to come down a little bit harder. You can see the roads out here are snow covered. People taking it easy on their evening commutes. I can also tell you that Ottagamie County saw the brunt of the snowfall uh, today as our neighbors to the south in Winnebago and Fond du Lac County saw much less. Skyview 2 was up over Interstate 41 near the Fox River Mall at about 9 this morning. And you can see the roads were wet, but traffic was moving just fine. The Ottagamie County Sheriff's Office tells us the northern part of the county saw the most calls for service during the morning snowfall, including this overturned semi. Counties to the south, Fond du Lac and Winnebago, report very few incidents. But as the morning turned to afternoon, city and side road conditions worsened. 
at least in Ottagamie County in the Appleton area as snow continued to fall into the lunch hour. College Avenue became slick and snow covered, but nothing that wasn't manageable. Highway conditions didn't really change as additional snow fell in the afternoon. Those out and about said they actually liked the snow. I woke up and I was surprised that it wasn't uh, as snowy as I thought it was going to be, but uh, I'm one of those people that kind of likes it. So, um, though I'm getting a little bit wet, I, I kind of enjoy it a little bit too. It makes it feel a little more holiday-y, holiday wintery. And again this evening as the snow continues to fall across our area, snow covered roads a little slushy these these side roads. I know interstates and, and highways, the plow crews have been out working those all day to keep keep those clean. They're telling us that some of the side roads and some of these downtown city roads might be uh, a little bit slippery. So again, take it easy, leave plenty of distance between you and the car in front of you and, and drive home safely this evening. For now we're live in Appleton, Emily Matesic, Action 2 News. Emily, thanks, and we will be following the road conditions throughout our evening newscast. And now we want to head back over to Catherine with another look at time saver tra traffic. Catherine. Yeah, the conditions are not great, Jeff and Sarah. These drive times reflect that. Normally, we see this drive time on 41 between College Avenue and 172 at about 25 minutes. Look at it right now. 172 south to College Avenue is taking 44 minutes. Farther south on 41 between the Oshkosh area and College Avenue, that drive time often runs about 16 north or south. Right now it's about 20. And here is why. Look at these snow covered highways. If we uh, take out the bottom banner on the bottom of your screen there, you can see that the, this camera is 41 at Highway 21 in the Oshkosh area. There's a semi cruising along there, but difficult conditions all over over northeast Wisconsin. One more camera for you there. 41 at Highway 23, the Johnson Street exit. You can see the bl snow blowing across the lens there. David. And we'll continue to see those snow showers for the next couple of hours, especially from Green Bay towards the south and east. Winter weather advisory is still in effect through 6 p.m. Three to six inches of snow uh, overall is what the total that we're expecting. Uh, the heavier amounts from Shawano towards Appleton, and then things really start to taper off as you head south. Shaded in white here, this is a winter storm warning. It does include southern Marinette and Ocano counties, uh, Green Bay and Brown County. That expires at 6 p.m. as the snow begins to taper off, but all the way through 9 p.m. right along the lakeshore areas here can expect to see upwards of eight inches of snow might even have a few spots picking up a little bit more than that eight inch threshold. Heaviest snowfall ongoing right now from Green Bay right along Interstate 41 and then down towards the south and the east. We're starting to see everything taper off though towards the northwest up around Shawano uh, and then into uh, Menominee County. Everything will taper off from the northwest towards the southeast. But again, some of the steadier snow still coming down right through our major population centers. So if you have to be out traveling this evening. Give yourself additional time. It is going to take longer with those slick roads, especially areas that go untreated. Trace amounts to an inch from Green Bay towards the south and west, including Appleton, and then perhaps another additional one or two inches of snow for the lakeshore. That's in addition to what has already fallen. So overall totals sharp cut off from south to north uh, about four to five inches around Appleton. And as you get closer to Fond du Lac, we're only looking at maybe trace amounts to an inch. But for Green Bay and uh, Shawano and areas towards the lakeshore, closer to eight inches of snow overall. An annual tradition here at WBAY TV starts early this morning where dozens are coming out with their gift donations. It actually gives you a rush. It's been fun. Uh, I like the snow for this purpose. Any other time I don't, but it's been fun because we've had lots and lots of uh, cars that have been stuffed with toys. Cars like this one filled to the brim with Bonnie Huffensberger's 11 bags of toys. Well, usually my bedroom is stacked quite high <laughs> throughout the year. I have great big boxes and I just keep collecting when they have the good toy sales and end up quite a few at the end of the year. On top of buying gifts for her 15 children, Huffensberger collects toys year round, saving up for the big Toys for Tots drop off day. When I was growing up, we didn't have very much. And I always think it's nice for kids to have toys at Christmas time. If you haven't had the chance to donate yet, Toys for Tots donations run until this Friday with distribution next Thursday and Friday. Reporting in Green Bay, Sierra Gillespie, Action 2 News.